Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial on how to play 46 and 2 uh, for solo guitar. Instead of doing one huge tutorial, I thought it'd be better to split it up into smaller videos. So today we're just doing the intro, just the first part of the song before uh, Maynard starts singing. Before we get started, uh, this is in Dadgad tuning. If you're not familiar with that tuning and you're not sure how to tune that way, check out my other, my other video where I talk about that. Uh, link should be in the bottom. And the other thing is that you should get the tab to follow along because I'm this is one of those videos where I'm telling you like every single note because this is a pretty complex arrangement and and that would take forever. So we'll get the tab, the link is in the bottom too. And let's get started. Okay, so first let's start with the bass riff which starts the song, which if you already play guitar and you've tried to play the song, you probably already know it. Uh, it's this. Yeah. I play that entirely with the thumb here. The idea is that later when the melody comes in, I have the other fingers free to, to play the melody. And one thing about your left hand, if you're not used to using your pinky finger when you play, you really need to get used to using it because it's essential to play this type of arrangement. So right, right away when you're playing this riff, um, if you don't use your pinky, you play it something, you probably play it something like this. Which is fine, but when you want to start playing other stuff on top of that, it gets kind of complicated. So in order to start using your pinky, the first thing to do is to not have your thumb up here. You want to keep it down here, in the, behind the neck. Just to be clear, it's not that you always have to play this way, just for this type of arrangement, which is more like a classical piece, you want to keep your thumb here so that all your fingers can reach Finger, the strings equally. Otherwise, when you have it like that, the pinky is all the way down here and it's a lot harder to use it. Try to keep your hand relaxed, your wrists relatively straight, and hold your hand in a way that all your fingers have equal access to the strings. All right? So in the case of this riff, we want to play it this way. So the ring finger plays on the fifth fret, index on the third fret, and the pinky on the 6th fret. Think of that as your home bass. Okay, so if you're playing like this. And then when you play on the 1st fret, you slide down, and then you return to your bass. Right? way I, I move up one fret so the ring finger plays the sixth fret and pull off to the middle finger and then I jump to the tenth fret with the ring finger and then when I go back to the sixth fret I use the middle finger and pull off to the index finger that's not something I worked out uh, in advance that's how I ended up playing it, but the, the general idea is to try to minimize movement as much as possible. Instead of, you know, playing everything with the, the same two fingers, kind of change the fingers up so you, can, you don't have to move around so much. Okay, so that's the first half of the intro. Now comes the little guitar part on top of that, which is uh, the T. Okay, so we're gonna play that part on pop on top of the bass line. So it would sound something like OK, 
Okay, so let's break that down. The very first part is like this. Okay, so we're playing on the first note of the riff. We're playing the open fourth string, the open D string. Right? We pluck that with the index finger. Then on the second note of the riff, we're hitting the open second string. And I plucked that with the middle finger. Okay, and then we play the open first string, followed by the third fret on the bass line on the fifth string. Right, so it'd be. Okay, again. And here I play a slide so I can switch back uh, to the fifth right here with the ring finger so I don't have to jump around. Okay, and then the next part is similar, just playing different notes instead of the last note changes to the fifth fret on the third string, right? So it'd be. Oh, and I play, in this case, I play the D here, the fifth string, the fifth fret, sorry, on the fifth string, with the middle finger. The reason is that then I can play the melody note on the fifth fret with the ring finger, and I can hold that while I play the riff with these fingers here. So already it's getting kind of tricky. All right, so that'd be... And then you play it up to speed. Like that. But the rhythm is the same as the first part, just the fingering changes. And after I do the slide, the index finger switches to the next string, and we play the third fret there on the fourth string. And then open third string and the fifth fret again. Okay, so again, the rhythm is the same, we just change the finger. So all of those three together, slowly, would go like this. to speed. to get that kind of nasal sound and then open sixth string and then third fret and slide up to the fifth fret okay so let's do that whole intro again slowly intro. Uh, practice that and if you have any questions or doubts just let me know in the comments 
And next video, we'll look into the verse, which is where things get really complicated. See you then.